Hi everybody. Looks like we got a new toy here, something coming in the mail, and uh, we're gonna open it up and tell you all about it. So hit that subscribe button. Welcome back to the joy of trucking. My name is Kevin. I'm an OTR driver for Creek Carrier. We got ourselves the SureCall Fusion To Go OTR cell phone signal booster. Goes on the truck. You can use it for RVs. Put it in your car. So if you find you're driving in remote areas and you're always losing your cell signal and trying to, you know, get your call or whatever you're doing on your phone in uh, remoter areas, this will pull the signal in stronger and then it kind of rebroadcasts it inside the vehicle so that your phone picks it up right here inside the vehicle with a stronger signal. Works with 4G and 5G, which is good because my phone only does 5G. So here it is, right out of the box. It's a tight fit. Yeah. Where there's a will, there's a way. There it is. Let's see if we can open it. Surecall Fusion To Go OTR, twice the power of similar boosters, boost cell signal, the most powerful truck antenna on the road. So you mount one antenna outside your truck, like on your mirror or something like that, and then you connect it with a cable to the power unit, and then you plug that into your dash, and then you've got another antenna you set up somewhere inside the truck. Let's see if it's all here. Ah. We got instructions. We got a nice picture. Looks like the power unit. Yep. It's got little LEDs to show you it's working. This would be. Looks like it'd be the antenna. Got another antenna. Oh, a springy mount. I love those. So I can zing around in the wind. All right. There's your plug in. There's some mounting brackets. So we're going to fix it outside. A little box of hardware here. Some coaxial connectors. Very good. And some Loctite, so you can do up your do up your mounting bracket real tight, and the vibration won't loosen off all your screws, so it don't fall off on the highway. All right, good stuff. Let's put it together. Okay, so read the instructions, pulled all the pieces out, figured out what goes where, how it plugs in, who puts it on. Now. One thing is the, the bracket for the antenna that goes outside is uh, only set up to clamp onto a bar. So if you had like the old style mirrors with like a chrome tube steel holding the mirrors up, you just lock her on there. Okay, I don't have a 900 KW. So we need to get a special bracket uh, to attach to the mirrors of the Freightliner and then it will have that little bar and then we can put the, the mounting bracket on and mount the antenna outside. I do not want to drill holes in this truck because it's not mine. So that's the thing, you know, you can, if it's your own truck, you can make some modifications. I thought even on the back of the sleeper, way up at the top, I could drill a couple of holes, mount the bracket there and that sucker would be up above the cab, up above everything and get a really good signal. Not gonna happen. I'm not gonna drill holes in the company truck. So. We noticed at the, some of the truck stops, they actually have those brackets. So we're gonna go look for one and then we can mount the bracket right over there and have the antenna and then I can complete the installation. So check our next video coming up soon where we do the actual installation. You can see all the mistakes I made and maybe that'll help you uh, not make the same mistakes. Give it the thumbs up. 
I hope you got something from this. Comments down below. Hit the subscribe button. Ding-a-ling the notification bell. See you down the road. Bye-bye.